Welcome back, everybody. Live look at Balboa Park. Not a cloud in the sky. Going to be a beautiful Father's Day today. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. According to a new Gallup poll, U.S. adults believe in God. Belief in God declined over the last five years. And joining us to put this into perspective is Professor of World Religion at Southwestern College, Peter Boland. Peter, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jason. So tell us about, you've been doing this a long time. Yeah. Tell us about your background so our viewers will know where you're coming from. Sure. You know, I didn't grow up in a religious family, but I found my fascination in philosophy and religious studies in college at UC Santa Barbara. I ended up majoring in religious studies, and then I, my wife and I moved down here, got a master's in philosophy, and I've been teaching at community college ever since. And so I teach world religions, Asian philosophy, all that stuff, world mythology. I find the whole subject continually fascinating. Wow. Okay, so when you look at this Gallup poll and the decline of belief in God, what do you attribute that to? You know, that's the big question, right? People like Gallup have been doing this poll. They've been doing this poll since 1944, and, and, and the news this week is that the number has gone down from uh, like high 90s down to 81%. In fact, it's fallen 6% just in the last five years. So that's the analytical question. Why are fewer and fewer people saying, yes, they believe in God? I think the, the bigger and maybe even more interesting question is the steeper decline in church membership and church attendance, and that's been falling for a while. So there's a lot of factors that drive it. And an interesting tidbit that I ran across from the Pew Research Center is that a third of Americans are none of the above, right? When you ask them what religion are they, what they believe, they say they're not atheist, they're not agnostic, they're not Christian, they're not anything, they're nuns, as we call them in the business. But among that third of Americans, 70% of them say they believe in God. So something is in the water here. There's a distrust maybe with the institutions, with the organizations, but I think that spiritual experience is, is sort of constant through all of this. Well, you know, if you go back decades, the nuclear family, where yeah. mom and dad would get the kids up and they go to church on Sunday, that, you know, that was, uh, that was very, very commonplace in American culture. And as, yeah. as, as things have gone on, as time has passed, especially now, there are so many more distractions, so many things competing for our attention do you think that might contribute to it as well? I think that's a huge factor. You know, my friend Penny Bridges, the senior pastor at St. Paul's Episcopal Cathedral, she, she, she and I were talking about this, and she said, as you travel around the world in poorer countries, you notice that faith and, and belief and church or mosque or synagogue are, are just central, like the whole village participates. Mm -hmm. But here in the U.S., because of our affluence and our scatteredness, and we don't live in multi-generational homes, you, nobody stays in one place for very long, so you're right, we don't have that cultural buy-in to religious ceremony and ritual, and that's a big factor, too. Well, you know, you know when we talk about distractions, one thing that comes to my mind is, man, streaming video services. I mean, you've got you've got a tray at the bottom of your smart TV with anything you might might want, the, the potentially to have anything you might want, and that's that will distract you. That can take you away from a path toward toward God, religion, whatever you want to. Yeah. Label so it. there's like two streams that we're thinking about here: church attendance and membership, and belief in God. It's easier to measure the first than it is the second. Because how do you see inside of someone's heart? And at the heart of all of this, too, for me is, what do you mean by God? You know, is it a specific personification that one sect teaches? Or is it this general sense of sacred presence wherever you are, and maybe you don't need to go to a church? So people sometimes describe themselves as spiritual but not religious. And then along comes COVID in these last two years. Every spiritual leader I know is scrambling to reinvent what church even means because a lot of folks just say stay at home and watch it on zoom right right or, yeah okay Peter Boland <laughs> the professor at Southwestern College yes right? at Southwestern all right appreciate thank your perspective you, man thank you Peter Good. great meeting you all right, still ahead, uh, the uh, San Diego Greek Festival continues uh, this Father's Day. We're live this morning getting you a preview of the food, the fun, the entertainment. We'll have a lot more coming up right after the break.